Hello, I'm Mike Russell from MusicRadioCreative.com. This video is all about Adobe Premiere Pro presets for audio. Check out my Premiere Pro audio presets. If you're working with dialogue, different microphones, or you need to do some noise reduction in your videos, you need these audio presets. Head over to mrc.fm slash presets to download them now. That's mrc.fm slash presets. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. It sound right, boy. So let's hop in. Now we know that getting our audio to sound great is very important when producing video. So let's see what we can do. Here I've got a clip of me speaking into my microphone. Let's play it. Hello, this is Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. And you'll see at the bottom, I've got a muted out music bed that we're not using for this particular example right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start setting up a preset and show you how to save that out. And in order to do this, I'm going to use loop mode, which is this one here. If you haven't got it, click the plus in the bottom right and drag it down onto your toolbar. Switch that on, put an in point with the I key and an out point with the O key over here. And what it's going to do this is, Mike is keep Russell looping around and around. Creative.com. Hello, this is Mike Russell. While I go ahead and apply some effects. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go into the effects workspace here so I can really access what I need and pull it in. And I'll show you how I'd set up a basic vocal improvement chain on a voice. Let's get started right now. And I think we'll go ahead and bring in something like the parametric equalizer because that's so good for improving the quality of voice. So we got a couple here. Parametric equalizer is good. Drag and drop it onto the audio here. And I'll show you how to turn this into a big preset at the end. So edit it and we'll do a bit of high pass filter from musicradiocreative.com. Hello, this is. And then we're going to do some high. Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. Hello, this is Mike Russell from musicradiocreative. And then we might just move this around. .com. Hello, this is Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. Maybe a boost at the low end here. .com. Hello, this is Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. And that's a basic EQ curve on the voice now. Next, I'd go ahead and add in the dynamics effect, which is over here in effects. Again, drag and drop. We're getting them over here in the effect controls. Dynamics. Let's go ahead and add that on. First of all, compressor. Hello, this is Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. Hello, this... And then the limiter on so we don't go louder than, say, minus 3 dB in this case. This is Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. You see, when we turn that gain up, we start hitting the red limit there. Hello, this is Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. So, so far, what we've done, we've added two things. We've added an equalizer. We've added the dynamics effect as well. And I might want to go ahead and add on a de as well, because that one is pretty handy for removing sibilant sounds. So, again, we'll go down here to de and we'll analyze this now. Hello, this is Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. You can see it's accessing quite a lot of my sibilance. Hello, this is Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. Hello, this is Mike Russell from mu Okay, we want to get the sibilance area. Mike Russell. This is Mike Russell. So there's quite a few S's in there. So let's grab here and here. This is Mike Russell. This is Mike Russell. This. Okay. This is Mike Russell. 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 This. Okay. So what we're doing here is we're scanning through and finding the most sibilant area. This is Mike Russell. This is Mike Russell. This is Mike Russell. And once we've got that, the idea, and let's clear those in and out points now. Hello, this is Mike Russell from. Is to have these red lights coming on only when the S's are coming in. So let's move that threshold up a bit. Hello, this is Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. And this video is all about up a little editing bit more. audio. So minus 20. So at this point, we've added on some EQ, some compression, some limiting, and a de at the end. Now, I might want to go ahead and save out all of those. I'm going to close them down. And I'm going to select them all by hitting Control or Command. And all of the ones that I want to save as the preset, the EQ, the Dynamics, and the de right-click, Save Preset, Mike's Voice Preset. OK? Click OK. I can give it a description if I like, so I remember about it. But just clicking OK will immediately save it up here into the preset box. There it is, Mike's Voice Preset. And now in the future, if I get rid of all of those uh, effects that I've added in, if I drag and drop this preset onto the voice, boom, all of Mike's Voice Preset has been applied to my voice. 
Now, another instance. Hello, this is Mike, and I'm recording. We've got like a bit of background noise there. Well, I can add in the denoise here. So let's get the denoise effect onto this one. Edit it, crank it up a bit. On my mobile, inside my studio. And I might also want to add on the dynamics effect. And in this case, I might want to just add in a bit of a noise gate. So let's do that. Edit it. Add on a noise gate, which is going to blot out any background noise. While the acoustics are good here, the audio quality could be just a little bit better. OK. And as you can hear, if I disable both of those effects now, we've got... Hello, this is Mike and I'm recording... Lots of background noise. Add on denoise and the noise gate. Hello, this is Mike and I'm recording... A lot clearer, a lot better. So that is very, very easy. Again, we'll close those up and we'll save them out as a preset. Control or Command, select both. Save preset. And we'll call this Mike's Noise Removal. Like that. Click OK. And then again, cross out the search bar into presets. We've got Mike's noise removal, Mike's voice preset, all available here, which is absolutely fantastic. I can select them both. I can create a new presets bin. So we can call this Mike's free presets. Click OK. We we'll drag and drop those both into that presets bin. And there they are inside their own bin under presets, which is really handy. Then I can export them so that they're ready to import to another copy of Adobe Premiere Pro. Right click, export presets, and we'll just save them anywhere we like. So I'll call this Mike's or just Mike Free PP Presets. Click save. It's going to save it as a PRFPSET file. I know that's a really long extension. And then you can go ahead and import these presets to your own copy of Adobe Premiere Pro and play around with them. These presets I've just created in the video are completely free for you to use right now. And in order to access and download those free presets, just go to mrc.fm forward slash free PP. That's mrc.fm forward slash free PP and you can download the presets I just created and try them out for yourself. Make sure to like, also subscribe to my channel so you can see more audio production videos and ding the bell so you never miss anything. Thumbs up, subscribe for more, music, radio, creative, dot com.